rationalizing a denominator where we have a square root of a fraction. We're asked to rationalize and this radical is covering an entire fraction, both the numerator and the denominator. The first thing that I'm going to do is just rewrite this fraction and separate that radical into the square root of 7 on the top and the square root of 2 on the bottom. And the reason I'm doing this is because rationalizing the denominator really says that the denominator is the part that needs to be fixed, that needs to be rationalized. And f by this we mean that the square root needs to go away. We need to get rid of that square root because we're not supposed to have square roots in the denominator. So to fix this square root of 2 in the bottom, I'm going to take my fraction and I'm going to multiply by another fraction. And since I'm trying to fix the square root of 2, both the top and the bottom of my fraction here are going to be the square root of 2. Now in a fraction like this, since the top and the bottom are the same, this is actually 1. Square root of 2 divided by the square root of 2 is 1. So we're multiplying by 1, which doesn't change anything as far as the value but it's just going to change the way that it looks. By multiplying, in the top I would now have the square root of 7 times the square root of 2, which is the square root of 14. And in the bottom, the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 4. And you may recall we're trying to get rid of that square root in the bottom and we now have the square root of 4 which can be evaluated. The square root of 4 is just 2 without the radical because we've taken the square root of 4 which is 2. Now the numerator will not simplify. The square root of 14 is just the square root of 14 but we have fixed the thing that was the problem. The square root of 2 in the bottom we used this radical on the bottom and multiplied both the top and bottom by that exact same radical to ensure that I would be able to get rid of the radical. And then we tried to simplify, but there was nothing left to simplify. So our final answer is just going to be the square root of 14 over 2. The fact that there's a square root in the top isn't a problem, it's just the denominator that is a not supposed to have the square root.